Welcome to Sideboard once again. I'm Glenn Jones here with Shaheen Surani. We're going to talk about his mono blue Delver deck, which we have fanned out right down here. Uh, Adam Prozac recently made the top eight of the St. Louis Standard Open playing semi mono blue. He was boarding his restoration hand with some mono blue in the main. But you've gone full out. You're just nothing but blue here. Why'd you decide to get rid of the white? Um, actually, when M32 was released, I. Uh, Saw this, saw this card tower, and I was just like, man, that card's amazing. I'm, I thought it was a genius. I thought, I'm coming out with this mono blue wizard deck with this guy, and no one's gonna it. And then Brad Nelson, Tony, and everyone, like 15 articles posted about it. So I'm yeah. like, all right, not, not the genius I thought I was, but <laughs> um, I still decided, I still think he's probably the best card in standard right now before rotation because the ability to just shoot out this a million guys just blink of an eye that overwhelms the green decks. Uh, the mirror match, they can't handle it. Like, what would you rather have, a Restoration Angel or Six Drakes? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when the only removal is a Vapor Sag. Maybe it's never a two. So, uh, the white, I didn't like the white in his deck. I didn't like the swords in his deck. I don't like the 18 land in his deck. There's a lot of aspects of the deck, I think, that are uh, kind of stifle the ability for it to win. Um, honestly, he did well anyway. Uh, <laughs> but I think if you're playing this guy, you're playing Delver, you have a chance to win regardless of your build. But I think my build's more of a safe build. It's a little bit more risky. Okay. So we're going to talk about the deck. It's obviously a lot of Delver elements are pretty much normal. Poor Delver, poor Snap, poor Pro, poor Bonder, poor Leak. Well, some people have been cutting Leaks. I think in this deck, especially with Tower and the protection is probably a little more important. Uh, let's talk about some of the newer cards. Obviously, we've talked about Tower and. How does he change the deck? Like you obviously, you've got more instants and more cantrips, uh, but how does that affect the rest of the deck? Why, where did you go from there? Um, well, Tower and you, you don't really have to build around him because it fits right in the Delver deck. Okay. But some of the things that really help him out are uh, obviously all the free spells. Obviously, the gut shots gain a lot of value. Um, I think Talon is to play a little differently. You can't just ditch pros, you can't just ditch gut shots, you can't just ditch your draw spells early on. You really have to get some green decks in mirror match, play them, and the ability to make a bunch of two twos. So he changes the dynamic of the deck, but he doesn't really change the build of the deck too much. Sure. And you've got Rune Channer Spike here as your equipment of choice. How's that been working out for you? Do you really like it with the Flying Drakes? It's great, it's great. It's, it's, I, I think the swords are unplayable. In this deck, especially when you're, you're running so few land, they build uh, five mana and four mana are, are completely different. Like there's they're miles apart, you know what I mean? Sure. And to not play uh, Pike when you're playing 26 instances of sorceries, <laughs> I think it's a travesty, and I think uh, I think it's a lot better of a card. Also, the ability to one shot people with Angel Nexus happened last round, game two. It's just more frequent than you think because with all the cantrips, you'll get to an Angel Nexus, you'll get to a Pike. And they don't see it coming. You have an ink bump out there, you you know, barrel around a little bit, bounce something, you manually something, and then you just untap pull. So sure. You got one auger of bolus, how's that guy worked out? That's some and auger and the images are something I took from Prozac. Um, I didn't I don't really understand the images too much because there's a lot of points where uh, more augers are good and at some points they, they, they pretty much do the same thing as I'm getting at. Like the modern green decks, they play guys you want to copy their guys block, sure. get a bird, do this. Auger you want to do the same thing, block, get something to do this. So these three I, I bar from and I like them a lot so far. Um, I had more than one, I tried three, and then cut down to two, then I cut down to one. And I, I just want more instances, more yeah. sorceries, I just want more uh, ways to abuse tower and the pikes okay. early on. We're going to get done real quick, but we just want to talk about your sideboard. Yep. We've got Tamios up top, right. a couple spell yeah. skites, three spell skites actually. Yeah. What's my decision to get spell skite and Tamio? Uh, well, Tamio is uh, the replacement for Frost Titan. If you see way back in the invitation, oh, the okay, guy, yeah. I was like, what's well, a good anti control card? And he was playing low mana also, but still more than both me and Pro Prozac. Yeah. So I was like, I'll just drop it down to five, keep Tamio in. Uh, I guess a control like you don't need them on turn five. Like you're not gonna get five mana by them. Um, but when you do, they they don't have to counter magic against you most of the time. You just crush them with that card. Uh, I think that serves the same purpose as uh, more counter magic also. So. Sure. And the spell scouts are to help protect tower end. I right. assume. Right. Spell scouts are for tower end. They block stringer root guys. They're great for stealing rancors, stealing uh, miracle <laughs> cards. So. Spell Scout against Green is a real big ace in the whole phase. They have a really hard time getting around. That, that is an action that has definitely come up a few times. Ranker, Spell Scout. Keep that one in mind because you can put it in any deck if you're having trouble with some Ranker. So, Shaheen, 2 on the tournament right now. Round 3 is going to be starting pretty soon, so we're going to go ahead and let him get to it. Good luck, Shaheen. Good job. See you guys.